Hey guys, I wanted to make a quick video on this cheap turntable that I have. It's really a decent machine for what it is. It has a simple mechanism made of plastic. Overall, the sound quality is good for me, but there is one drawback and it is the noise the plastic mechanism makes when it's in operation. I'll play some audio later to give you an idea what the mechanism sounds like. I will try to improve the noise by adding some more lubricant, but this is also an excuse for me to take a closer look at the internals of this turntable. Now I'll spare you the details on the operation of the turntable, that seems like something Tecmoan would be better at explaining. Instead, I'll cut to the chase and get right into it. This model is an Audio-Technica LP60 automatic belt drive turntable. To disassemble, I'll remove the felt mat, disconnect the belt, and then remove the platter by pulling up on it. For lubricant, I am using Super Lube Synthetic Grease. I will put a little bit on a cotton swab and apply it to the various moving parts. I need to gain access to the bottom of the large gear, so I will remove the center screw and pull straight up. While I have the gear out, I will also tackle lubricating the top side. The metal plates on the top seem to be a source of a lot of the noise. On the bottom side of the gear, you can see the track that dictates the tone arm movement. I will apply lubricant directly, then spread it around the track with the cotton swab. I'll place a bit of grease on the center gear and slider track. Reassembly can begin. The large gear goes on first. Do not force this piece back on, carefully turn the gear until it drops down into place. I found turning the gear back and forth a few times will get it lined up. Again, don't force it. I'll put a little more grease on the center gear as I managed to get a good bit of it on my fingers. Replace the screw in the center of the gear. And now I can clean up a little bit of the grease I got on the casing. When I go to replace the platter, I place my finger under the belt first so I can easily place the belt over the capstan. Replace the felt mat and we're ready to rock. Funny enough, the record I chose to test with had a burr that was scraping past the tone arm rest. After dealing with that, I'm ready to test. It's not perfect, but I can tell you that it does sound a lot quieter. 
I could put a little piece of rubber on the tone arm rest so I don't get such a large clunk, but honestly, that doesn't bother me too much. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more to come.